My name is Alexandra Lopez and I'm a volunteer for Raising Your Reader Massachusetts. Today we'll be reading a book from the Red Bag. Today's book is The Happy Day. The author is Ruth Cross and the illustrator is Mark Simmons. The author is the person who writes the book and the illustrator is the person who designs and draws the photos inside of it. What do you think the book is going to be about? Well, from the picture in the title, there's a bunch of forest animals, so maybe it's about that. Let's find out. The Happy Day. Let's look at the title page. Look, I see a bear, a snail, a squirrel, a groundhog, and a mouse. Let's find out what it's about. Oh, look, and there's a mouse dancing on here too. Maybe because he's happy. Okay, so, Look at this. I see more mice, just like in the front. Okay, they're all in the ground. I wonder why. Maybe because it's winter. How do we know it's winter? Let's look at the colors. The colors I see are white and black. And snow is white, so it must be winter. And their eyes are closed, so they must be sleeping. Oh look, more animals here. There are bears, bears inside the mountains in their little cozy caves. Now these bears are also sleeping. Why do you think all the animals are sleeping in the winter? Because of hibernation. And hibernation is when all bears and animals of the forest go to sleep for all of winter until the spring when they eat more until so they don't have to be cold in the winter. Let's look for the animals on this page. Did you see them? Yeah, they're inside the tree trunk. They're snails, and they're also sleeping inside their little shells. I see a lot of animals on these pages. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And they're all in the ground, so they must be groundhogs. And also in the trees, I see squirrels because they have really fuzzy tails covering them from the cold of the winter snow. <gasps> what do you see happening on this page? I see all of the mice are awake and they're moving. Where do you think they're going? Let's find out. And the bears too. The bears open their eyes and they're awake, so they're out of hibernation. And the snails too. From the other page, you could only see their shells, but now you can see their tiny heads poking out. And the squirrels and the groundhogs. Where do you think they're going? Hmm. Maybe they're smelling something. What do you think they're smelling? Maybe it's really good food. Everyone is hungry after sleeping for all of winter. And now look on this page, all of the bears are running and so are the mice. And on this page, the squirrels and the snails. Now all animals are running towards one place. Deep. Let's count what animals there are. There are bears, one. There are squirrels, two. There are mice, three. There are groundhogs, four. And there are snails, five. So there's five different types of animals on this page. And they're still running through all the snow. And look, they look really determined to get to the smell. Oh, and they all stopped. Why do you think they stopped? Look, they're dancing. I can see a groundhog here dancing and a squirrel. He looks so happy and also the bears. And they're all smiling. They're so happy. Let's see what they found. <gasps> what do you see on this page? There's a new color. It's yellow. 
there's a yellow flower. And why do you think they're so happy from seeing a yellow flower? Yeah, because that means spring is coming and the winter is ending. So now they can go outside and play. Look at all of their faces. They're all happy that they don't have to sleep anymore and that they can go outside and it'll be warm. What are some of your favorite spring activities? Mine are gardening and planting flowers just like these to see them bloom. The end. It was a fun book. What was your favorite part of the book? My favorite part was when the snails were hibernating inside the trees. What were some of your favorite animals? Great! Some of my favorite animals were the bears, the groundhogs, and snails. Thank you for reading with me and stay tuned for more fun stories like these. Thank you! Thank you.